There we go. Hello, it's your boy from 1996, right on an episode of Low Standards. In this episode, we'll be recording with a new phone to work with here because I decided to take one of my uh, on uncle's uh, older phones, which I found out that this phone has a micro HD, micro HD plug, which means I could play this specifically on an HDMI t uh, TV or my HDMI AV plugs. Anyways, in this episode, we'll be tackling Llamas with Hats Cruise Catastrophe, a really fun, uh, simple uh, mobile game that was released, I think, in the late 2000s for Android and iPhone, but unfortunately has been delisted off of both platforms. I was able to get this one through an APK in specifics, and that's how I'm playing it. Uh, if you must notice, though, the footage is a little bit weird in specifics, is because the game, due to the game specs of being, uh, for really more smoother on later ha hardware phones, except for anything like, um, Galaxy S20 or something like that, the, uh, frames animations with the people are actually, you know, lower than what they're actually supposed to be. You like, here I come. In this game, you play as Carl, the teacher, one of the teacher the characters in Lost Hats, as he goes on the cruise ship and kicks vacationers off of the boat. This ranges from female to male vacationers, these carnival-looking ladies who, will, will, who are like faster than any of the other vacationers, and slow-moving fat vacationers. Kicking the the uh, carnival ladies and the fat vacationers are actually the well, in terms of voice clips are actually the voice clips of the of the the uh, simple vacationers, just one being sped up while the other one's being slowed down just to fit the uh, body types every types of ink this game was originally up for like on the store for about a dollar and it's probably like one of the most fun cheapest uh, mobile games I've ever played in my life and the fact that it was only a dollar was pretty like you know that's pretty fucking cool it's kind of worth the purchase Despite the fact you had to, if, if you were younger like me, you would have to use a Google Play card rather than, you know, using your credit card and stuff. So you know they'll be knocking off a, like a, a dollar out of your, uh, up to the, your nine dollars still inside storage. This game's pretty fun. What I love about the game a lot, specifically, is the clips from the vacationers. Two lines I love loving, laughing at, is um is um, the lines from the male vacationers where one of them will say, let me know my last word to boner, and the other one being, no, I got cornbread in my pocket. The quotes here are very funny and also, like, basically dated if you hear some of them. Well, some of them, some of them I think particularly from the females uh, vacationers, will be uh, referenced, well, which you saying, call me maybe, because that song was popular around the time this game was developed. Most of the game has references. The fat vacationers are actually, in terms of design, are very based off of a, a short the film uh, that uh, Jason made back then um, for his D for the Masters DVD collection he had released in the late 2000s. Unfortunately, I've yet to actually find any footage of what that short is, and I guess it's only now exclusive to those who have bought the DVD back in the day. I was having problems trying to kick the vacationers because this phone is smaller, and thus the controls are hard to work with in the specifics. Also, I had to be careful with this phone, because unfortunately, this phone has a very unfortunate problem. It's just due to its own battery life, I think. It's mostly just the battery itself, rather than the, 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 the phone itself. The battery is very low. I think the only thing you can really use it is watching, listening to any kind of music I have, watching videos of, like, lower quality in terms of, like, they're not, like, it's their standard, uh, uh, standard quality and not HD quality. Any HD quality will cost them, or uh, anything else like that. Like, HD quality, an app that doesn't seem to run that super, that runs like, like, like this app in, this app too, if you're playing it, uh, basically a lot of stuff will cause it to instantly shut down, despite having a very large battery life, even at 100%. It also counts if I were to use the HDMI wire, so there was a remedy for that. I have to keep a charge in order to do some of the stuff i now added to this phone. Uh, yeah, I've added to this phone. As you can see in the very top, your lives are based off of the hands that Carl eats in the first episode, which you can also get in balloons that pass by in order to increase your health in case you lose any. Meanwhile, we have green balloons that allow you to either get help, the ones with dollar signs will give you extra points, uh, the one with arrows will allow you to move faster for a short period of time. And the red balloons with the faces are referencing episode 5 and will deplete your health, your, your hand health by one. 
This is also the first episode, you know, this is the time where they actually gave Carl more animation at the time because whenever the shorts were made back in the day, they were always still besides, you know, their facial moves. Except for the ad for this uh, app game back then, which is still up on the channel. Just the game is no longer up on the channel, which is unfortunate, because this game is really fun. The other, other film cow game that still exists is the mystery of Western, uh, I forgot what, what the name of the mansion was, from the mystery of, uh, uh, the mystery missing, uh, uh, animations that, uh, film cow, uh, you know, Jason film cow made. I just washed my hair! You can't run away from me now. A lot of them say things, Obama, which is supposed to, I guess, because during this time, it was during his press, I think it was first, if not his second year of presidency. Oh my god, just hit the thing, Carl. I'm pressing the button. Well, I just lost a lot of health because Carl couldn't hit that. I think it's just more better if I just focus on hitting the vacationers, because it's hard to really hit all of them. I have to look at my screen more intently if I want to actually survive this longer enough. Oh, jeez. Along with that, grease, my, my your hands are a little bit greasy. I had eaten a while back, but I did wash my hands, but it might end up messing, I guess it makes my palms are getting sweaty. It all might mess up the screen's ability and uh, placement. It's just very tough to work with. But since I can record it in a way where I can actually use the touch screens, which is the only way to really play the game, I would try doing this on my older, on my newer phone. But unfortunately, the only way I can really play this properly, in a sense, is by using the mouse and just switching between each side. So I feel like playing it in its original format, it's a lot more clear and fun and actually, you know, viable. Despite the fact that I'm basically just doing the same thing again in specifics. Extra points for me. Ooh, points. The music is very funny. I like how calming the music it is. I really wish I wanted to go ahead and find the music itself, but I've never actually never found it at all. I know it's in one of the Film Cow shorts. I think uh, the Flabulous Dr. Steve, if they played in that one. If not, I think it was Dad Cop 2 that he played in. But my chain was so bad! But my chain was... I just love the quotes in this game. I don't remember what Zorgon is. I thought it was supposed to be like similar to Zolway, but no. Oh yeah, you kick two of the uh, different vacationers of, of, of gender type. Their, their lines seem to overlap each other. As you can see from earlier ago, you can get bonuses by knocking out multiple people, and you can get more bonuses by knocking out a group of people. Particularly, the multi-bonus applies to two people, while you get a 500-point uh, bonus for knocking out this person of the same uh, characteristics. Basically, just the same person. You get the twin bonus. <laughs> I love the quotes in this game so much. They ain't kicking the butthole. What is this, Jim Andre? Can't run away from this. Can't run away from this. I don't like that. Oh, fuck, I missed. I'm not even drunk yet! Oh, keep missing. Oh, you're Oh, 
God, there's a lot of them now. You gotta lose a lot of hands. Yeah, just touch me, you can judge it so hard to look at it. Alright, back to talking. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> Carl! Oh, it's so hard to play. Carl, <laughs> I'm starting to think you have some sort of problem. Yeah, you didn't. Here. Out? Yeah. Alright, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Alright. Love you. Love you. I also stay quiet because my sibling was in the room, but at the same time, I guess, like, I wanted to let the audio play out because of how hilarious the quotes are. I believe, I believe, I believe. Yeah, it's hard to play this game because of the phone screen size that's problematic. <laughs> There are times where I could actually hit both controls on both sides, but there are times where I somehow end up like moving backwards for some reason. I don't know why only Carl's animation seems to be the most smoothest out of everyone else, but everyone has like two frames per animation. But yeah, this game's pretty fun. I think this is the last one I'm gonna do in terms of like the rounds, because it's still hard to work with the controls. Yep. Which is strange, because when I was playing um, Zombieville USA, I was actually doing pretty well with the controls. I think. I don't know. I'll have to do it again and actually see if it's actually worth playing. No, we're playing with, revisiting uh, with this phone. I wanted to get the phone, uh, one of these phones for one specific reason. The ability of the phone still having the having Bluetooth, so that way I can not have to drain the battery off of my phone. Even though I was like, I've just been doing it still. I love this. A lot of them also separated from some of my video libraries. This one mostly focused on other videos, while the other one was focused on animations and specifics. Oh, there's the cornbread line. Oh, this is one of the same. We got quadruplets. Oh, I should have waited. Wait, those are twins? How? I guess in the just. I'm hungry for hands. Here we go. Oh yeah, Carl will also say things depending on eating uh, any of the hitting any of the balloons. Oh shit! Hold up. Oh yeah, there's a lot of the 9/11 jokes. I think this, I think this was made when the first Horseman cartoon was made. I never look at the manatee. I love this. I just gotta avoid the fat guys. I think he was a. I know this comes from a place of hurt. I said I would stop dealing for this guys, but it's clear that I'm not going to. Damn it! I was right next to her! Well, that was just annoying. As Carl would say. Kind of Zim! Oh fuck! Why are we not, why are we stopping? Damn it, Carl! Carl, you gotta stop moving in place. You keep getting stuck. Whoa, hey! I didn't know I could do that. Oh, I'm gonna die. Wrong. Oh, I got him. I forgot I hit him with a power block, a power, power balloon a while back. Oh my god, Carl, just kick the guy! Carl, kick the guy! Ah! Carl, we're supposed to be on vacation! You know what? Let's do one more. This is fun. Oh yeah, the game always does that. I think it's because of. It actually, yeah, it's because it's um, not the uh, download from the store, but download from the APK. Dude. And now Carl's perpetually stuck. To okay, never mind. I fixed him. <laughs> Carl, what's going on with your legs? Oh, hey, um, I think I'm being possessed by a demon. No, you're not. I, I cannot do Carl or Paul's and voices with the life of me. I kind of actually forgot the name of the other llama. Well, I, I, I think I, I, <laughs> I seem to remember Paul's specific name. You know, I think he sees a lot more. I think in the later Carl episode, uh, anime, in the later Lots of Hats animations. 
The music reminds you similar to uh, fucking Katamari, both situationally and the way it sounds. Oh man, that reminds me, I haven't done an episode of Katamari Damacy. I really need to. I've only, like, done it in terms of, like, my original uh, Let's Play content back then. When I was trying way too hard to be popular. When in reality, in, in this uh, format, I'm just playing for the sake of it. I have been out, I've been trying to schedule episodes and specifics. But regardless, though, I'm just doing this out for fun. If I just miss a day, I'm totally fine with that. I don't actually get frustrated. I don't like that! Sometimes I think I do this to myself. I probably should hit the pal. I got one guy with it. Uh, here we go. Ah, uh, I didn't get a 10 bonus. I think I had to get me for those old ladies to go near each other and why you do that. Yeah, this all relates to like references, particularly though the one reference everyone pulls out when he points out playing this game is of course it's a reference to, uh, people say are similar to um, the pre-events before Carl sank the ship in Laws and Hats 2. Yes, it is a zoo. And you're the you're the cage animals I'm kicking out. Whoops! Whoops! I was hungry for hands. That's one of his lines he says. Kind of a zoo. All right, pal time. Okay, I hit him three times. Shut case. I'm a traveler from the future with a terrible warning for the humanity. Well, so much for that terrible uh, warning. I kicked it. I have to go uh, close up to my screen to actually. Oh, oh shit. Alright, I'm, I'm missing up a lot. It's just because the dang touch screen controls with this phone. Particularly. But one of the lines I love hearing is, Yeah, give me again, bro! Oh, lava! I got a twin bonus. I'm getting actually close to actually beating the high score I have on this so far. Your high score will increase, of course, depending on how far you've gotten further from your previous high score. Just what I need, I'm kicking the pants! Yes, from a godly llama's foot. A funny thing that I didn't actually mention, but every time you start up the, uh, uh, a game, you you get like these really unusual llama facts on the top screen, on the top, on the top side of the uh, screen when playing this sideways. Oh well, uh, so much for being high score. Oh, we were close. You were close. Ah, forget. Well, that's fun. The game is pretty fun to play with. Fortunately, there's no way of really getting it now besides the APK, as I, as I previously mentioned. Well, anyways, that's it for this episode. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.